Hey, hey friends, it's Kelsey here with another Bible journaling process video. Actually, my first gratitude documented video of 2021. I'm really excited to share with you guys how I'm working through this project this year. My plan for this year is to just stash bust, stash bust, stash bust. I have so much fall stuff from so many wonderful companies. So I am really working hard this year to build clusters and have lots of florals and lots of things on my pages so that I am going through all of the things in my stash. So I saw Shano Noel do something similar to this technique on her Instagram and I loved it. So I pulled out a floral from my stash. I believe this is a By the Well for God floral. I will link it below if I can find it. I pulled out this just mauve purple color and I'm going to stamp it down on the page. I just put the paint right on top of it and I'm gonna stamp it and then I'm gonna hold it just for a second so that it gets nice and like on the page and it's just turned out so cool. The background on this page was so cool. I ended up doing it in three spots on the page and the floral abstract feel of it was so cool as you can see here. So next I am making my cluster. Every single page that I'm doing for Gratitude Documented this year is going to have some type of cluster on it. Again, I'm really trying to stash bust and use up the supplies that I have and I bought a lot of things this year. Oops. <laughs> um, but I, uh, I really want to use what I have. And so I kind of picked the colors based off of this die cut piece that was the prompt, which was Romancing the Ordinary. And from there, I just kind of found the card that I liked and picked out flowers that went with it. And as you can see, I get really fussy with it. I try to make it look as put together and I just got way too fussy with it. And I ended up just getting really frustrated that I was fussing around with it um, way too much. So this little um, tag here that I'm using I'm going to actually use as my journaling spot for this page um, just to write a real quick prayer and to have a real just um, simple, I don't need it to be over the top because part of the cool thing about this year's Gratitude Documented Kit was these are verses that we've already worked through this year in other Illustrated Faith Kits um, and it was just a cool way to kind of reinforce things. So I have worked through this verse already and I have already processed a lot of this. So this to me more is just really focusing on the gratitude behind it instead of so much the prompt itself. Um, but thinking about how I'm grateful for the ordinary in my life. Um, fun fact I also learned during this is that this sticker sheet that's to the side here from By the Well for God is probably a little bit, a year old, maybe more. I can't remember when this kit came out but I've been keeping it in my stash, sticker paper becomes extremely hard to work with after a long period of time. So this little girl who's over here, who's beautiful, just she would not come off the sticker paper. So I ended up cutting her out, fussy cutting her out, and I'm gonna stick her down and uh, tape her down because it was not wanting to come up. So the last thing you're gonna see me do actually is kind of, I think, one of the most important parts of this page is I'm gonna get out my paint and I'm gonna splatter paint. But I'm gonna have an oops on my page. Actually, if I'm being honest with you, this oops, as it was happening, I freaked out and thought, oh my gosh, I'm recording this for YouTube and I had this big oops and it's going to be so bad. And I had a massive freak out over it. Um, I edited a lot of that out. But I wanted to keep it in because I wanted you to see that not every page is perfect and the oops is that I splattered this giant splatter of paint right there and then I was like oh I'll just wipe it up with a towel it was such a bad idea it was such a bad idea and you're gonna see that I got really frustrated with the pen or the not the pen the brush um, because I was so upset <laughs> I was so upset but what ended up happening was actually Awesome. It made the page look so much better and it gave the page some dimension and some color. I put in a different floral and you'll see that here. And I end up loving how this page looks and loving how this page turned out even though there was this oops 
and this moment of absolute panic, um, absolute panic. I freaked out and may or may not have cried a little because I was filming a YouTube video, but it reminded me that this is not about the art. It's about the heart. So with that reminder, I hope that you guys come back again for another video. See you next time, friends. Bye-bye.